Hi, my name is Baman Deshmukh and in this session we are going to discuss what is the difference between drop, truncate and delete. So, the difference between drop, truncate and delete. Drop command is there which is used to drop any kind of database object and basically the command is drop object object name, take an example of table. So, here the command will be drop table table name, the command will be drop table table name. Using drop command you can drop any database object and you know it is, uh, it will drop the object uh, of the database. Let me show you one simple example of this. Here I have a table T1 right, which has one column and some records. I drop the table. I drop the table T1, table dropped and after dropping this table's data is not accessible. So, using drop command you can drop a particular database object like a table from the database. Now, going forward with the truncate command, truncate command is used which also is a DDL command. It is used to empty the table that means in one single command in one single shot it will remove all the records from a particular table. So, here I have a table T2 using the truncate command I can drop uh, I mean I can delete all the records from the table T2. So, you could see here truncate table T2 and the table is uh, truncated. Now, again I want to select records from the table T2 and you could see no rows selected, right. So, truncate command uh, in one single go it removes all the records from a particular table. Now, going forward with the next command that is delete command. Delete command is used to delete one or many or all the records from a particular table. And let me show an example of this. I have a table here, table name is T3 and there are some records in this table, right. So, here I can delete one record from this table. Let us say delete from is a keyword which is optional. We can write from or without from also, uh, the effect is same. So, delete from T3 where let us say C1 equals, uh, I will write down C2, C1 equals 10, C1 equals 10 and C2 equals 20, so that we can identify only one record. Delete from T3, where C1 equals 10 and C2 equals 20, right and of oh, two rows select, two rows deleted, right. So, it is possible to delete one record also, it is possible to delete a more than one records also, it is possible to delete all the records also. So, for example, delete from T3 and if you do not specify where clause, in that case all the records will be deleted and then if you try to select some records from that particular table, then no rows selected, right. So, basically delete command, it deletes one record, it deletes many records, it deletes all the records from the table. Truncate command, it deletes all the records at once, it completely empties you know the table and uh, drop command, it is simply used to drop a table or any other database object. And, uh, about cancelling the effect of these commands, drop command it drops a table and the dropped table can be you know restored generally using the flashback command, but the same flashback does not work on the truncate command. Truncated records are truncated forever, they are not recoverable and uh, coming to the delete command records uh, deleted using the delete command are recoverable 
you can simply roll back and after roll back the deleted records will come back. So, that is a little difference you know between the three commands that is drop truncate and rename. Drop command dropping a table, truncate command removing all the records from a table and delete command for deleting one many or all the records from a table. That is a little about this important interview question guys. Thanks for watching this video. To watch more such videos, please visit Nourish Technologies on youtube.com. Thank you.